Hey everybody, call me Felix, and today we're going on a food trip around the oldest city in the Philippines, most northwestern province of Ilocos Norte, Batak. And you can't say Batak without thinking about empanadas, as Batak is known as the empanada capital of Ilocos Norte. And by empanada in these parts, we're not talking about the baked kind. You can get fried Ilocano empanadas virtually anywhere in the Ilocos provinces, but Batak is one of the two most famous in the region, and the other one is Vigan. Uh, not not vegan empanadas, no, 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 in the city of Vigan. The place to snack on empanadas in Batak is dab smack in the city center, the Riverside Empanada Han. Here, there are several empanada stalls to choose from, and we're trying out as many as we can to declare the best Batak empanada. Some say Laney's makes the best, some others say Glomies or Glories, but I suppose I'll be the judge of that. The best way I can describe an Ilocano empanada is it's an oversized fried taco with its trademark Oompa Loompa orange hue attributed to the achiote seeds used to achieve such a distinct color. Usually the filling of choice in these empanadas is a combination of mung bean, bean sprouts, papaya, egg, and or traditional Ilocano longanisa, which is typically unsweetened and more redolent of vinegar, garlic, and black pepper. And honestly, I much prefer my longanisa in the savory Ilocano way. The dough in the batak empanada tends to be thicker, making for a crunchy yet dense exterior that keeps the filling well intact. Usually, these empanada stalls fry up some before you visit for display and takeout orders, but it's imperative to get them cooked to order when you dine in, and the vendors will almost always cook your order if you're dining in. Cold empanadas make for tougher eating with a denser crust. For our empanada taste test, I'm ordering mine double-double all the way, and that's double the egg, double the longanisa, and double the vegetables while trying out a few other choice permutations of the Batak empanada, including one with bagnet or crispy fried pork belly, and a lumpia empanada hybrid thingy. And we're not in Batak for just empanadas, as we will get some soups on the way, chicken mommy and beef paxio, while JP's hunt for pizza that tastes like Domino's pizza back home in the States takes us to a secret Instagrammable spot in Batak that you won't want to miss. Keep on watching to find the secret garden. Laney's empanada? Just Laney at it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a special family recipe. It's like the other two as well. I'm gonna get me a double double special and a bug net empanada. So look at this, they roll out the dough. Is she gonna make it fresh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Miss, can you tell us how you get the color of your empanada? Achuete powder. Achuete seeds? Achuete? Yes, sir. Ah. See? Si. I know it. Ooh, is that your... Oh, that's a longanisa. In a double-double. Your longanisa is not a traditional longanisa? Yes, sir. It's okay. uh, special to Batak? Yes, sir. Ooh. How is it special in Batak compared to other places in Ilocos? Different. Is it a different spices for the longanisa? <laughs> Not the spices, sir. Mm. Oh. Mung bean, that's mung. right. So mung bean, papaya, and bean sprout. There's two eggs and then longanisa again. That's why it's a double double. Ooh, those are our snacks. Let me talk about our empanadas, because I don't think a couple empanadas could make me full, so I mean, yeah. Ooh, look how big. <laughs> He's going to war. Okay. Double, double space gun! Double, double space gun! Oh, Dad can't wait. Look at him. Um, double double. Double double? I got me a double double and a bug net. You gotta try. I got to try. So first what you gotta do is open up that empanada and then put in your um, seasonings. You got here spicy vinegar. I think that's what I'm going for. And then some ketchup. Maybe you can mix them both so then... Double double! I found this over there. Some chili oil. Ooh. Hiding. So I don't know how that would... 
turn out like? Well, it's our turn to find out, right? <laughs> double, double station! Oh, this is mine? Oh, sweet. So once again, you just gotta op to open a hole through this. Now, JP thinks that Jack in the Box tacos are better back home than this. Oh my gosh, yes. I love Jack in the Box tacos. Okay, if you guys know any. food. If you guys know anything about Jack in the Box tacos, they're like the stuff of legend back home. <laughs> even though they don't taste like regular ta like like really go gourmet, like, not even gourmet tacos, but like authentic tacos, they're not. But it's like the stuff that's inexplicably good. And especially in certain altered states with <laughs> altered substances. Let's say that much. That's what Jack in the Box is like famous for. So we've breached through enough of a hole. Yeah. So what you get right now. How's it? It's kind of like a dry pastiness out of the vegetables, which are papaya, which isn't a vegetable, but it serves as one. And then it's got a mungo or bean, mung bean in here. Adds some substantiality, as it were. Yeah. So, I mean, generally, if you just take a few bites, it doesn't really get interesting until you sauce it up. So, okay, let's sauce this up then. Mm. Chili sauce. Chili sauce here. Put some. Ooh, red hot chili sauce. Ooh. Well, we did samyang yesterday, so nothing could ever frighten us no, ever again about so. chili. There you go. Thank you, Warren. Thank you. I'm gonna try with this uh, chili sauce. Yeah, the chili oil. So this chili is like oil. the little packets that have been hiding. So I don't know if this is a traditional condiment, but yeah. we'll try. Try it. Packs a little bit of a punch. I like it. Smoky, acidic. Mm, just the right type of pleasant heat, isn't it? Well, mm -hmm. now you're trying the chili oil, right? Mm -hmm. And it really lifts it, I think. I want to wow. get the eggs. Ooh. Ooh, babakis. I'm going to get into that later. I'm just wanting to try some more of this, especially with that chili oil. Yeah? With the chili oil. Yeah. So what you got to do, the whole key, of, in my opinion, with empanadas, or fried empanadas, is you need to douse each part of sauce, basically. Every time you finish one bit of sauce, you put some more. You just interchange between vinegar, between banana ketchup, and so on. Okay, let's try that out. Oh, here's the part with the egg. That's always the most crucial part, and especially if you get more of the chili oil in there. I think we need a little more. <laughs> but it adds that nice roasted mm -hmm. chili character that I like. It almost tastes like a Chinese. Mm -hmm. This is like hot oil from like a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I we really left out. This is what I really like. Sorry, Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Mm. And then you get more of that salty Ilocano longanisa. You taste the sukang in local in there. But yeah, the chili oil is really good. Let's get that part with the egg too. So see how that turns out. Now the egg has gone all the way through. Warren, we might uh, put in some banana ketchup and we'll try what a traditional flavor is like. There you go. This is a traditional document. Condiment. With nice... So here at the center is really good. Where you get the egg and the sausage and such. So, yeah. And now you gotta try some with some chili, with some vinegar. There we go. More? Ketchup and vinegar. There we are. We got creaminess out of that yolk, which is well cooked too. I like it. And then there's a lot of longanisa meat, which is good. So there's nothing skimpy about this double double. Quite tasty. Now, Dad was saying, what what was the best? What, what do you like here? The one that you really like here, with out of our uh, platter? Quick, quick. Very good. They're all good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta try out our skewers. This is some meatball. I'll just try it on its own. Hmm. Spongy. We got a good meaty texture. There's some onion in here, so that contrast. It's pretty good. Um, what else we got? We got quick quick. Now you gotta dip this in some vinegar though. <laughs> just put it on top. Let's just just lace it on there. There you go. Fried quail eggs. It's you're also gotten the Donald Trump treatment with the, <coughs> or Oompa Loompa treatment more like. 
Okay. The Donald Trump uh, tan. Well. Mm. How was that? Nice creamy substantial egg that you kind of get right away and then good wrapping on the frying. That's good. Dad, what were you raving about? Bug bugis or the squid? The bug bugis is good too. Mm. Dad is very likes the bug bugis too. Oh, vinegar time. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. Just get some vinegar on our bug bugis. Dad's dad's raving about it. He says, "No, you must, I must." He said repeatedly. So, must be good. Let's try it. Texture's good, but it's a little barnyardy. Mmm, barnyardy. Uh oh, that's scary. Sounding. And then we've got squid. Oh, barnyardy, isn't it? Poop shoot like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so our dried squid. It starts off salty a little bit, or fishy, but then it kind of goes into a mild mm. sort of flavor before finishing salty and squiddy again. Yeah. Hey, what happened to my bug net empanada? This is bug net, sir. Oh, that's oh, what happened. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. So I did get another empanada for me. It's bug net. Who doesn't love bug net? I don't. Crispy fried pork. There's that bug net you see there. Mm, I'm gonna dip some more, get some more hot sauce on there. Man, it's scalding hot. Um, as far as like the, yeah. Yeah, it's scalding hot. Say when. The temperature is scalding hot. Because this one feels a little greasier, so thank you. I'm gonna let this down a little bit. I, <laughs> I was getting burned the first time when I did it. <laughs> yeah. It's a little too hot. <laughs> I even let this cool down a few minutes and it's still scalding hot. All right. I think I like the texture more complimentary to the, is the longanisa better. Yeah. It, it complements better texturally with um, all the mung bean and the papaya myself. I think because it, uh, it's a more coarse type of meat. This one's a little weirder because it's um, crunchier. And then I think the meatiness of the longanisa complements better on the seasoning with it. But it's not bad too. But I mean, Bite some more of it, and then I'll let you know if it, my opinion changes. So even adding some chili oil and some vinegar, you know what? You're, this is gonna sound funny to you. This is, tastes like the cross between a really creamy egg McMuffin plus McDonald's French fry, put in one. Huh? What? <laughs> Did you say McDonald's French fry? No, I said a oh. little bit. I said, but it's more like an egg McMuffin sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. With a kind of like heartwarming hash brown flavor to I it. Sure. I said, interesting. Oh. The flavor combination she come with. Yeah. But I mix, so why mix the chili sauce with vinegar? The sukang and loco goes really good together. You got a couple more cells. Do you still have room, Warren? For yes, a couple double doubles? He's nod his head, but he does not, it doesn't look very confident. Okay. Okay, the second stall we are in is called Glomi's Empanada. Now you can find these at a couple of locations, even in Lawag. Even at Robinson's Ilocos Place Mall. <laughs> but we're trying the original here. Stall number two, Glomi's Empanada. So Warren got here a, yeah. a so-called seedless. It basically is without the vegetables. It's longanisa and egg. Dad got his himself a jumbo, which is longanisa egg and hot dog. Filipino style hot dog. Me, I got a lumpia and I got me another double double. Let's try next first. I think I'll try my double double. All right, so trying this Glomi's empanada, there are two things that are surprisingly different about this one compared to the other stall at Laney's. So this batter kind of feels more crisp. It feels a little thinner. And what it tastes like, that outside shell, kind of tastes like 
Fritos. A cross between Fritos and Doritos. Interesting, huh? And then the other thing is, the longanisa has been fanned out, where in the first bite, you get more of it compared to Laney's. It takes you kind of two bites in. Two to two big bites I'm in. So they're more lumped up. This one's a little more distributed. I need more sauce in here. Warren, hit me up with some banana ketchup, please. So we're doing banana ketchup. I don't think we have any more chili oil, unfortunately, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to factor it in, basically, into the final review part. And the jumbo empanada is like a 777 jumbo jack. <laughs> How is it with the hot dog, Dad? Like seven 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 jumbo jet. <laughs> okay. Well, Dad's talking about Boeing's. Is there egg? Yeah, there's still egg in there, Dad. I think the longanisa is a little different over there because that one is more has a little more soy. This one so far tastes a little garlicky. Pour, please. <laughs> pour Warren. He's gonna be the guy who's gonna pour it for every bite. <laughs> with this banana ketchup. I gotta get to the center to really taste how creamy the egg is. Because one thing I like about Laney's was the egg was cooked nicely. And part of it was still a little runny. And runny egg and empanada with a contrast with the fried dough. Ah, That sounds like the ticket. The ticket that exploded. The egg white's kind of fluffy, just like the other place. The yolk, so far, is cooked through. Not nearly as lush and runny yet. But again, we gotta bite into It's basically how many licks do you get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. They really say yay or nay, right? So I think the way they do this is the longanisa, they distribute this a little more. In the center, there's more of just the egg. The egg does not look as yolky, or as runny. I think halfway through this, I can say, I like the Laney's one better, as far as the egg. On a more runny, I like that. It makes it good cooking. Uh, Longanisa tastes a little more nuanced than it does over there. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty much even. I give the edge to Laney's. Okay, so the last thing we got here is a lumpia nada. It's a basically a lumpia that's crossed with an empanada, but in lumpia form. It almost looks like a gigantic chimichanga. Or a fried burrito back home. Which some will tell you is not real Mexican food, but... Yeah, whatever. Hmm. No, I was not expecting that. It really is like lumpia. The cabbage... It tastes like shumai. When I bite, bit into it, I almost fooled myself into thinking this was shumai. And then I'm getting more of a... Fishy sort of taste. I think it's like squid. Well, I was not expecting that. Okay, this is really lumpia. That made ginormous. It needs more of that ketchup because there's a salty fried, <coughs> like a salty dry fried squid taste with that. I mean, I like the ratio of veggies here. Oh, you know what? I think it's delis. Almost like dry fried. Anchovies. But, and it has that little texture too, like a French fry. That I like to deal with. I think it's like squid. It's alright. You know what? Let's just do Mickey. <laughs> I've gotten bored of eating fried stuff now, so I'm at, we're gonna do some soup instead. After this. I think that Lumpia nada or the lump massive lumpia with that dry fried squid, it kind of soured my appetite to try that third place. So you know what? I got nothing to prove, everyone. I'm just gonna move on and let's eat some Mickey instead. Okay, so when you step down from the empanada here, all you hear are voices telling you to go to their Mickey house and such. So I said, what on earth? It's like your footsteps have triggered the vo voice of ghosts. Oh my gosh, there's three competing stalls. These are the real Hatfields and McCoys of Batak. 
Not the empanada place. It's far, far too civil. Mommy Mel's. So we have been drawn in the center. First. It says chicken mommy, lo mi, pancit bihon, and so on. So just like the empanada place, you're drawn into a room of three, practically. Or stalls of three. And then you chose the one in the center. So this is where we are. And we're gonna eat some noodle soup. Mmm. The boys got pak siu. Very interesting. And extra chili. Pak baka. Let's try it with some chili oil. Sexy eating Angel, except it's not sexy. Chili oil? Chili oil? Chili oil. And put some. I can smell some chili in here. Kilo ala na kata naman ko kuya. So add chili vinegar. Then pepper. Then black pepper. Mmm. Like papa Italian. Looks good. Eat already. Hmm? You've hardly eaten all day, Warren. Come on. <coughs> Too spicy? Too strong. <laughs> hey, you put so, the, the chili's too strong for you? The chili oil. What's that? Hey, damn it, you ate some young yesterday. Well, how can you tell me the chili oil is that strong? Oh, that was a long time ago. You're not the boy top fung of your locals after all. There's some chicken mommy. So this took us like almost half an hour to get this. Amazing. So they do make this from scratch. And I guess well, those times are a little tough. It's all made to order. Looks like a lot of bouillon powder in here. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out just the soup with a little bit of fried garlic. That's pretty flavor packed, I would say. Garlic. Um, the chicken soup is not. It's not really. It's not really oily. That's a little. But not super so. Although, I think there's quite a lot of bouillon powder in here. And of course, let's see where the chicken is. Oh, there's our chicken. Shredded chicken. Golden cat drinks you, are no ketchup. Mmm. There are noodles. Cut a little short though. Egg noodles. The chicken mommy. These noodles are al dente. Mmm. With a bit of chew. It's good with that big piece of chicken. Chicken does a little bit. Mm, that's like it's been crisp a little too much or something. As if it's been reanimated and then it was like... Yeah, reanimated. Meaning, previously cooked, warmed up. And the edge is kind of... Taste or have like a little bit of a dried out crisp texture. Kind of like a dried out honeycomb sort of texture to the chicken. <laughs> That's a good description. Egg noodle, I'm not sure if they make this. Kind of... They're cooked right as far as al dente goes. So there's a little chew, there's a little bit that feels kind of uh, firm. Or a little too firm. And like I said, looks like there's a lot of bouillon powder in here. I think it's satisfying enough, I think though. For the time waited, I think I would expect this to be better than instant noodle soup. And not that much better. But I think the big thing I think is the chicken. I'm like, feels like it's been prepared before, dried, reanimated, and it has this texture as if it's like a dried out honeycomb that's been rehooked. It's interesting. Let's finish this, and I think Jigpee is thinking about pizza that tastes like Domino's over here in Batak. All right, stay tuned if we get it. It's take pictures! Oh, we can, nice place to take a swim! Where? You want to take a swim? Yeah! There's no place to swim here. <laughs> it's just one canal. And we are in 
the barangay of Palpalikong. Where, Palpalikong. Where JP what, what is going to have the pizza delivered from Vino's Pizza. We that had a like difficult pizza. time finding this place. It was like the lost city of gold. It is the lost city of gold to us now. It's a lost city of gold pizza in mm. Batak. So yeah. Let's, Let's see if it's worth the find. Okay, so we found through a friend that they have Domino's Pizza tasting pizza. Here. So Here. Any let's locals. Let's see if it's legit. Yeah. And we had to drive all this way to the backside of Batak. Yep. We, we are well far away from the Empanada Han and the Mickey Place, which is in more in the downtown area. Which this, they told us it's seven minutes away from that. Seven minutes? I feel like I'm like, we've traveled like eons to get here. And me, I didn't know Batak was actually this. It's just like Pit Dig in some way. Arya's Gar. You know what? It's not Arya's Garden. You know what? You know what it's called? It's called Ira's Garden. Oh, it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they got confused. It's Ira's Garden. Not Arya's. Potatoes, potatoes, same thing. It says Ira's Refreshments. And that's Aira's garden, not Aria's garden. <laughs> oh, we went on a wild goose chase to find pizza. And under this canopy, or once you cross the canopy that's hostile to tall people, once you get you underneath, we're here at Aira's refreshment, not Aria's garden. How do you say it? Aira. Yeah. And not only that, it's Aira's little garden. Uh, oh, here. Here. Sorry, I thought it was Aria. Aria. I guess we got a typo that said Aria rather than Aira. The manager? The owner, right? Where is she? Or the owner. Okay, is that you? Are you Aria? Or Aira. Not Aria. Aria Stark went somewhere else. I don't know what will happen at the end of Game of Thrones, but he went somewhere else. <laughs> Alright, back under the awning against hostile, hostile to tall people. All right, underneath and under this hostile cord, we. I eat rice little garden. This is where we're getting our pizza delivered. I eat ra, not Ira. Uh oh, photo op. See Instagram, everybody. We found ourselves a hidden garden. Dun, 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 dun. What are you seeing? The Final Fantasy theme? Are we doing the Legend of Zelda song too? Oh, look at this. Like a white carpet. Dun, dun. A white carpet. <laughs> a white carpet to get married with? Oh. This is a pleasant find. I, well, mean, I never yeah. knew that Batak was this picturesque. Did he, uh, you know who? I, I, I tended to think Batak was only like the main central with the church and the empanadas. See, and you doubted me. I found a place. Yeah. <laughs> All because of JP's lust for Domino's lust. tasting pizza. And you know what? And we found a place. All Come thanks to... Little here. Look, this All thanks to JP and his wanting of pizza <laughs> led us to this magical place. We can relive childhood, Warren. Yay! <laughs> but let's go play hide and seek in this little garden. Wow! Outstanding. Well, where where are we? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. No, I'm not in Kansas anymore, Auntie M. The city. Yeah, take off your mask. Ah, ano kaya sweet nga para magshota? So sweet. Yung butas sa kilikili mo. One. Two, three. Zama, 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 zama. 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 The unboxing begins. Let's see if it's worth the wait. Oh, those look like peppers or pineapples to you? I like don't yellow know. peppers. What happened? Let's <laughs> try the half and halves. So maybe they gave us their best whatever. Yeah, it could be. 
Maybe I'll try the cheese and then the... Yeah, this is a 10 inch, it really skimpy. Let's try cheese pizza. Is it cheese? It looks like buffalo wing or something. Hmm. Mm. Domino's? It doesn't look like Domino's. It's pretty good. Although it's not what I ordered. Mmm. <laughs> Carbonara. Carbonara. Oh, they put carbonara on pizza, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, sweet. Pimento. Is it sweet? Also? It's sweet. Mm. Pineapple. It's like tuna salad pizza. Yeah. With tomato, but it's sweet. Mm-hmm. Gotta have these. Ugh. Oh, hot sauce is not good. It's a little too sweet for my liking. Mmm. A little too cheesy too. I tried the one with the meat though. I don't know. Okay, this looks like sausage, Ooh, pepper, and today. pineapple. And mushroom. Yeah. Guys, here. Sweet. It's sweet. It's like that hamburger pizza. But fresher. But fresher. It's like hamburger pizza. That hamburger pizza from Pit Dig. But fresher. It's a dessert pizza. Yeah. What? It's good? Mm -hmm. It's Filipino pizza! Mm. I think for me and JP it's a little... What about you? It's a little sweet, but this one's actually a lot better. Thicker crust. Yeah. And it does taste like a more American crust. Not, first, this one's not as sweet. That first carbonara pizza, I think because I have that still in there. Eh, to me it's like the hamburger pizza in Pit Dig, but fresher. Mm. Really? This is better. No, 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 I mean, the taste is the the similar. Mm. For what we're getting, but... I said that the the dough is, like, it, the crust is well done. Mm -hmm. Like an American, but... I just said it tastes like the Pit Dig hamburger pizza. Mm -hmm. As far as the taste goes. Eh, not for me. Okay, so our last stop on the Batak food tour, if you want to call it that, is the only place in Ilocos Norte where you can guarantee to get fresh milk. But fresh milk of Carabao! Oh, this is the freshest one. Oh, wow. so the pink Carabao oh, wow. center. <laughs> one time JP took a picture where his mouth's underneath, or he feeds his head Put to the mouth. There, no, not there! <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. That's even worse. That's more risque. <laughs> no, you could fit your head inside that mouth. Yeah, there you go. No? Not even Angelo's little head. <laughs> it's like wired shut. <laughs>